Thank you for buying a genuine Norseal product. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to install the Series 2200 control valve. Norseal's leading 2200 and 2220 high pressure general use control valves are a space saving solution for fluid control. We offer both flanged and screwed body valves with your choice of three types of trim, quick opening, equal percent, and modified percent in both stainless steel and carbide. The very first thing you should do is check the nameplate to verify that you have the right product with the right pressure rating, trim size, and materials for your application. You can find it on the upper diaphragm. Then do a quick scan of the valve to make sure it didn't sustain any damage during shipping. You should also wipe down threaded and gasketed surfaces. Pay attention to your flow direction when you're installing the valve. Flow direction will depend on the application and trim selection. The trim you choose will affect how the valve capacity changes as the valve moves through its cycle. If you have quick opening trim, you can install the valve so the flow is under the seat or over the seat. But if you have throttling trim, flow direction should be under the seat. As I mentioned before, we offer both flanged and threaded body valves. When installing a flanged body, it's very important that you cross pattern the bolts when you tighten them. Use general industry standards for bolt tightening. When installing the threaded body, watch for cross-threading so you don't damage the valve body, which would require replacement of the entire valve. It's probably worth mentioning that you should always follow good piping practices. Make sure you have a suitable gasket in between the body and pipeline flanges, and for threaded bodies, use proper thread sealant. Now you can connect the controller to the actuator. Make sure the piping and instrument air signal doesn't exceed the rating of the actuator, which is 55 PSI. If you do, you might rupture the diaphragm. Run the actuator through two or three cycles to make sure your pressure is okay. Your valve will come from the factory preset, but under certain conditions, the actuator's springs might need to be adjusted. If you have a reverse actuator, you'll loosen the lock nut on the adjusting screw located on the top of the actuator spring housing. To achieve a tighter shutoff, increase the spring's preload and plug seating force by turning the adjusting screw clockwise. To reduce the preload, turn the adjusting screw counterclockwise. Be sure to tighten the lock nut after making the needed adjustments. For a direct actuator, you'll remove the spring cover by first loosening the two set screws at the base of the cover. To increase the spring's preload, turn the adjusting nut clockwise. To reduce the preload, turn the adjusting nut counterclockwise. Be sure to replace the spring cover and tighten the set screws after adjusting the spring. One more thing before you finish up. After installation, stroke the valve with your Norris Seal level control device to make sure it strokes smoothly from full open to full closed. For more information, download our new Series 2200 Operations and Maintenance Manual at www.norrisseal.com.